video on Gable Mate. Gable Mate, however you say it, I don't know. Who's that? This guy who studies oh, no, like trauma and stuff. Yeah. And he was saying Oh the, that, that, that he, he talk a scientist. Yeah, he's a proper legend. Yeah. He was saying, right, that the the numbers for women who actually suffer autoimmune disease is three times to one for males because because of the suppression suppression right and not just that there's five reasons but you know what really stood out to me one is one is the the want to be a good person right we mean that's more than female yeah i guess so yeah. Yeah. um putting the needs um of others ahead of you constantly and the other one was like obviously suppressing feelings and stuff like basically taking on the load of like even like the men and stuff now they feel responsible for other people's emotions that's what it is but women have stepped up do you reckon bro mm. reckon? i don't reckon mm -mm. no like I no mean, you're confused but have it they just do more things they do more yeah. how's that fucking stepping up though like i mean you see more of them fucking doing men's jobs and shit so that's not stepping up. No. That's adding fucking extra pressure, right? So you've got the nature. Yeah, no, of, I don't mean they're leveling up. I mean. Yeah, so they're doing even more. They're doing weird shit. Yeah, right? they're, they're, even more. Yeah. Like it's like okay, so um, not just taking the responsibility of myself, but I'll also now be responsible even for how my husband shit, yeah? feels, how my kids feel, and everything. Yeah. Plus, I'll go out there work, earn a living, do all that stuff, and you will notice, right? women are we rolling with this yeah, yeah sweet. women actually um somehow automatically have this thing of what? oh i'm not gonna let my husband take that emotional load like they'll just they'll start huh? to yeah man yeah they what take, do you mean like say you're going through a hard time yeah your jesse will feel responsible for like how you feel it will weigh on her mm, mm. right so mm. What she does is like now takes on that as well. So like involves herself unnecessary involvement. Yeah, I, I think like just thinking that she's responsible for fucking everyone. Yeah, but do you feel like by doing that, it's taking away from the masculine of a man? Mm, no, I think. Like, is, I it, think... is it making the load on the man like these days? Too light, too easy. So then, no, you, I feel don't, I that, think, you feel I, that the feminine's taking taking I, that I, weight. I think that I think the communication's not there, mm, mm. right? I don't, I don't think anyone's fucking taking it easy, man. Because like even for men, right? Um, there's a lot like now they realize shit, dude. I have I wasn't able to express emotion, so now they're unwinding that. They're going through the, mm. their own journey, right? So no one, no one's had it easy. But I'm just, I reckon there's this like lack of fucking communication between the other person. Like, it, okay, look at it this way: you yourself, when you have some stress, you don't like to share it with Jessie, right? Because you yeah. feel responsible for not allowing her to process pain or discomfort or whatever. At the same time, fucking, she's doing the same thing. Yeah, so so should, should I... from a distance. From a distance, she'll be like, oh, you know, um, my husband's feeling so much stress and that. So guess what? I'm not going to actually express how I'm feeling. And, you know, fuck, I had a shit day. Or I'm actually, she'll just load on top of her stuff, right? So she'll carry your, the responsibility of your, how you're feeling and what you should be feeling on top of her. So who, who gets the L, bro? So what if, like, Going back to what like the example we just used, if I say for example that I, if I'm feeling stress or something, I don't want to explain it or involve Jesse mm -hmm. because why I'm saying is it do you reckon it's discrediting to her if I don't want to do it because I feel she's not or she doesn't have the capacity to take uh, it take it on yeah yeah of course I think that you're limiting her yeah. yeah so do you think I should involve her in those well, things. Well, you know what? You're you're actually think about it this way, man. Like we were meant to live in like communities and tribes, right? right. And if you look back, everybody had a space. Everybody had a, a position, a role to play. 
Now, if one person in the family is trying to fucking play 50 roles, you're going to exhaust the fuck out of yourself. Mm -hmm. Right? So even if, as a wife, if she's, if she's feeling like my role is only to take the emotions and I have to make sure everything and everybody's happy, my kids are happy, they're satisfied. And understand something, right? It's not like it used to be where the kids were brought up in a joint family, in a community, and they had... Um, you know the neighbors and it, everything was open yeah, everything right. is becoming it more is, isolated is, you're right, right? Yeah. <clears throat> on top of it then you're also choosing to isolate stuff that comes mm. up right yes. so how much can one person take man you know and this doesn't have to be husband and wife man I used to feel that with my kids I used yeah. to think like fuck I am so responsible for the way they feel I fucking am not and mm. I come to realize that because I'm like dude like no 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 because as you said, I'm also taking away their ability to regulate something, yeah. to experience something. And build a resilience to Yeah, man, to actually go it. through something, right? And mm. how, and also, I am assuming they don't have That's what a, I mean. a, a thing for me, like an option or an idea or an inspiration. Like, you know, I'm thinking, know, I'm going to do it all. No, you know, why? It could be like weakening. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. But I feel like, you know, it's, it's time where we don't, we don't do things alone anymore. I like, think about it, man. Like we are so comfortable, right? Mm -hmm. To go to a friend and maybe sort of express something, but not come home and sort of share it with the person that's involved. Yeah, I understand. You know. Yeah. Even if I look at you know me and the kids, it's like, okay, um, you know. The house, the home has to run as a as a as a community, as a everybody has their part. Because if you think about your body as a as a system, right? There's individual parts to your arm, legs, and everything. Now imagine like the arm was just getting a workout and the legs weren't. Then the system breaks down, right? Your home is like that. There's moving parts in it, but the the home is one system. But then you got a mom, a dad your kids or you could have an auntie whatever man you got you got like parts in your body yeah. if one person is getting overworked one person is also taking load of just the mental one person is just doing the physical load right the, the the functioning of that whole system actually is not working properly mm. do you know what i'm saying i understand yeah 100 yeah and and i feel like when i look at it now and i said even i i went through that stage where i was like fucking exhausted why because I was trying to overdo and make sure that everybody else is okay. Like, you can't, you, how long can you do that for? Mm. Yeah, exactly. You can't, man. And oh, we're not meant to. No, our nervous system will start breaking under yeah. all that pressure. Yeah. So there's a big imbalance. Yeah. <coughs> you know, and I in, feel. In load. Huh? Yeah. But also, I feel that even going back on, like, how you, you're talking about um, with your kids, right? Like, Feel responsible like it's not your job to feel responsible of how they feel or whatnot no I, I honestly you know what I realize now Sus? my job is to create a resource of safety mm. me being a safe space for them yeah but fuck men how they experience something how is that my responsibility I and don't if know you what they're fucking do try to take over that you start robbing them of the opportunity to, exactly. to build on that yeah and on that. And, exactly and that's a, you know a skill that they um yeah. Need to learn. But do you feel like what age can that change though? Because What like, do you mean? My kids are four and two. Mm -hmm. No, but still you're right. Even now my four year old I, Why are you I responsible shouldn't take responsibility for his... how, how he no. chucks a tantrum or no. how he reacts to, no. to me saying no about something. No, exactly. Because mean? think about this way, right? We both did a trauma informed course. Yeah. What do they say? They said mm -hmm. Healing happens. <laughs> Healing happens yeah. when Safety is felt. Yes, exactly. Right? The felt so sense. the felt sense of safety. Oh, safety so yeah. think about this, right? Even when you have a car accident and they get you to go into the body, right? What's the first thing they get you to do? They don't go into the headspace and think about everything. They actually first get the person to perceive that they're safe. They're in the ground, they're in the body. They exactly. can see someone that is of safety. If it's a yeah, they don't, they don't run to the car and say, so tell me what happened. Yeah, you know, no. Right? So the first, that's the, thing, the first thing trauma, is, yeah. let me feel a sense of safety, right? right? And then your body's natural natural habit, beingness, or whatever you're going to call it, your emotional state, everything, right? You as a whole complete 
is health, is healing, is, mm. is healed, mm. is, is everything is perfect. So it's always trying to go back to homeostasis, right? So now I look at it, I think, fuck, you know, I, I exhausted myself trying to fucking make sure everybody, you know, doesn't experience something or doesn't feel um, mm. discomforting or, um, um, you know, they can't have a bad day and, you know, juggling everything. Whereas all I had to actually do, right, is to be the resource of safety for them. So they knew that they can regulate, they can chuck a spastic, they can have a shitty day, but at the back of it, they're like, they okay, I'm safe, I'm body. safe, yeah. I'm safe. And yeah. then the nervous system, their own intelligence actually gets the space to do its thing. Do its thing. 100%, yeah. You know, and mm -hmm. I, think, I think that in relationships and everything, and you know, I also feel, right, that we put too much pressure on one title to have, like, to be everything to you. Like, say, so you've got a wife. She's got to be your best friend. She's got to be your fucking business partner. She's got to be this. She's got to be that. We never were living like that. Think mm -hmm. about, again, a community set up, right? You have the local this person. You have a local this person and everybody plays a different part. You have a, yeah. you have a wise man of the village. You have people that you know cooked and clean and collected and you have and you know yeah, and yeah. it was like now so many roles and so many things are on one person and mm. it, and that's why people we are so overwhelmed and exhausted is because now we're taking on so many roles right because everyone's starting to isolate and become just like okay it's just me and my wife and my kids just me and my wife and my kids right and we don't expand ourselves to receive also from other places, right? We're, we're trying to fix everything on that. Well, so much pressure, mate, on two people. You know, like definitely, like I feel like um, even as a parent, so I'll speak about a parent, I'll say, yeah. imagine me just thinking only I know what's best for my kid, right? So then I take on the responsibility of teaching my kid everything. Right, and I think, okay, I'm the mum, that's my kid, I'm gonna take on that responsibility. How do I know what uncle down the road freaking can teach my kid or, mm. or my friend or like, you know, yeah. someone else? Like, I'm, I'm actually robbing him of so much other learning because I've decided to only be the one source. Yeah, but why have you decided to become that one source? Is it from not trusting that kid to go and learn off someone else because i feel like on a collective too like think about how we live now mate like people are Just getting more on. isolated right like even like through covid and stuff mm -hmm. what happened everyone got like okay you have to stay on your own you have to be on your own. so that that whole thing that whole fucking thing right now about being alone living your own family and stuff we don't have extended families right mm -hmm. we um also we also have stopped sharing ourselves with like our friends and stuff. I don't know why. Some people like- You're talking about post COVID? No, I just feel just like, I feel like in general, dude, like we sort of like became a very nuclear family. Like it's just us. And then we didn't reach out for help and stuff and guidance. I think like the way, I don't know if it's like Western culture, but- I, th um, I don't know. Cause it's hard, it's hard to uh, relate we live in a western country but i know what you mean i like i just think of even immigration mm. right when you immigrate to another country like here my family my family did as well but still it's like say you know back home in other countries they live in the same village yeah so it's literally living in like a street away from yeah each other. yeah Do you know what i mean yeah so you're constantly involved with that's each other what i'm saying time. though yeah yeah <laughs> No, it's not like that. If you look for the further suburb to, yeah. do you know what I mean? To, yeah. to move to for some yeah. reason. We are so spread out. We do live more isolated here. Yeah. It could be a Western culture thing. But also, life is a lot more pressure. There's a lot more pressure and a lot more fast pace. Yeah, of course. Yeah, do you know what I mean? So Absolutely. Maybe, maybe that's why there's a confusion or mm. an imbalance yeah. in in roles because that's what it I is, think it, it is. is it's it an is imbalance like what, in roles. yeah it's like what do you want me to do should i do this but i have to also do this and then i've got to manage that and then see, you see like, it's you see break it's exhausting yeah, what happens exhausting. you see breakdowns yeah you know you see breakdowns even during covid i know just from speaking to people like through that type of experience there oh. a lot of people 
fell apart in their yeah, marriages, 100%. their relationships, 100%. when they had no option but to be, be with a community, yeah, yeah. to be in community with no, each other. Yeah, you know? because um, two people taking on so much responsibility and being like a mental fucking pillar, mm. an emotional pillar, a spiritual pillar, a, a, a physical pillar. What? Yes. Mm. Um, it's it's a lot, man. It's a lot. Do you know what I mean? I think nowadays the way we you're an idiot. I don't want to make too much noise. <laughs> <laughs> mm. You're looking at it this way, right? Um, like I said, I think we've taken on that role of like um, being being the source of everything for our loved ones. Like we got to actually slowly, slowly release that that responsibility. I think. You know, yeah, in a healthy I, way. It almost it feels like to me now it's about trust, but it is. It's about trusting life, trusting processes. Trusting others. Trusting others, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Trusting Trusting friendships, man. Kids, friends, people. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? There's no trust. That's what I think is happening. I think that's why we're so isolated now. That growing up, you'd go play at yeah. the neighborhood's house, yep. wherever. Yep. Right? Kids yep. would be in the street. Yep. Mum will have something. Yeah, our cooking. parents did not no. freak out. Mum will have something on the stove, turn it low or turn it off, and yep. we'll go for a summer walk. Yeah. Fly screen door open, yep. everything open, yep. mate. Yeah. Not lock up the house and everything, right? Mm hmm And I feel like th that's a the major change I see from growing up to even today. And that's not that, a lot, that's not a lot, man. That's only a few. A lot years. of it revolves around trust. trust. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. I, I think even even you said I don't think like if you if you look at your ability to um, express your needs to Jessie and share with her when you're feeling down, you don't trust no, that it's she's a, it's feeling. A, it's a doubt. I'm doubting her. Exactly. So, I'm not so you don't trust in mm. her, right? Mm. And mm. same way, she's not trusting you to be okay with your emotions, so she'll load it on her, mm. right? And I, that's where I think like it's a it's a huge thing that like that communication that that. For us to actually give each other the the permission and also the right to friggin and accept that maybe they do have a better option and, and you know what I don't have to bear this on my own and you know it's okay to not want to take it because a lot of women also get into the trap of like I'm a good wife if I take load. Do you know what I mean? Like oh, this yeah. this is what means a good wife. Yeah, it's it's like almost like they're trying to solidify their role in, yeah, that, in that relationship. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like as if they're worthy yeah, and it's or like, earning dude, it. Just, just loading and loading mm. and loading over years, mm. you end up fit being unwell. That's that's not, you're not going to get a gold medal out of that. No, you're going to get sick. Yeah, like, do you know what I mean? I think a healthy and harmonised relationship is like that communication between both and also trusting that both of you have the capacity. Mm. Right, and that at times she will dip, you will dip, but you know that happens. It's normal. Not to, not to also resist fucking uncomfortable situations and moments. It's like it's normal. It is life. We get through it. Uh, but you know, trying to shield someone from it is actually doing fucking worse. I think. Yeah. You know. Yeah. And I think, and I think too that we should create our little communities. Like now, look at us, man. Like it's so nice to have deep conversations we talk about stuff something comes up we call it doesn't have to be a load on one person mm. you know like we can talk about different things you can talk about something else with someone else your dad can bring in some you know something in some aspect of your life i mean i think that's another thing that we should actually start thinking about creating a little bit of community mm. you know and having a resource for ourselves like Okay, when I have these kind of things, you know, that person's a really good person to get um, ideas and stuff from, so then I'll talk to her or him. Yeah, just you know? having that connection again. Yeah, yeah, again. Not, not trying to do everything on our own because, fuck, bro, like, it is, I see it in everybody, like, everybody's carrying the load, especially with the body work that I do. They're tired, huh? They're tired, they're, tired. they're exhausted, they they're exhausted, and everything is about loading. Mate, I was like, looking loading. at a guy this morning, I was just sitting outside cold. 10 to 6 in the morning, waiting mm. for the coals to open at 6. Yeah. I'm just grab some stuff for the kids and I'm and I've seen this guy jump out of his truck and it hit me like I was I was just watching him and I thought, fuck man, you're what? barely able to walk. Yeah. See? He was limping and I, and all that came to my head was 
up in, from the uniform he was wearing. He was a trade. He came out of truck. Yeah. You obviously do a physical work, job. Yeah. You're struggling to walk into yeah. the, just to walk from your truck to Coles looks mm, painful. Yeah. Looks looks like yeah. you've done three months without sleep. You know what I mean? Like you. That looked painful to me. That yeah. looked like hard work. So that's what I'm saying though. It does show up in your body. They actually have now proven that your body holds the memory of all your beliefs, right? Mm -hmm. All your behaviors. Yeah. All your patterning. Right? And you look around now. You look around now. Everything's gone up. Mm. Sickness, unwell, everything has gone up. Petrol. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's Petrol, gone up. Fucking yeah. groceries, yeah, but yeah. Everything. It's crazy, yeah. Yeah. So I think, you know, it's a it's a really good opportunity to actually um fuck man, we don't have to be heroes anymore and try and fix everything because we weren't made to. Like the, the level of what we need to do now to live in this society is way too much. Like we need to fucking give ourselves a break and say, you know what, man, I actually fucking can't do that anymore. I want, I want a break. You know, first thing is to really understand, mm. stop being a hero, stop trying to fucking do everything. Yeah, there's no shame. Right? Exactly. I struggle with that. You know, I realized that recently. Like, dude, I can't, I actually can't do everything. And it was very egoistic of me to think that I fucking could. Yeah. Because I can't. Mm. Right? Then I started to know, okay, what can I fucking give to someone else? What can I be okay with? You know, why do I need to control everything and have everything my way? What the fuck do I need to do that for? Right? Then, you know, slowly, slowly expand. Where can you take that help from? Where you can relax from? Where you can take a break from? Where can you share a little bit? I think, you know, it's really, really important and healthy for our families moving forward that we start to recreate that. For ourselves and everyone around us. I think so, yeah. Just Even at gyms and stuff. How many people come 100%. to you, mate? How many people come to you? Yeah, 100% heaps. And I think, I think you know, that's all we need to do. We have to have a sense of community again. Mm -hmm. And it sounds... Um, stop being a hero. Stop being a hero. and We can't fucking do it all. No, it's good because now thinking about it and understanding it. I can't remember the last time. There was a sense of community. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, man. You know? So maybe when I was a little kid, I yeah. remember. And now we feel just, bad to ask for help. Yeah. Like, what the hell's happened? I just remember everyone being around me. Yeah. Uncles, aunties, yeah. everyone. Like, yeah, if they're cooking, like, there's fucking 50 there's people cooking. My cooking exactly. would be at one of the... Your dad's making a retaining um, auntie, all the fucking little community house. Yeah, I know. We're there from morning till night, exactly. tables on yeah. tables yeah. in the backyard, yeah. Yeah. and they bring out the instruments yeah, and they're playing now, music, they're cooking. Yeah, mate, everyone's So when's together. the last time you did that? Honestly, I'm, what I'm going back to, I would have been maybe five or six years old. And, and the other thing, I'll tell you what popped up for me just now. People are ashamed of actually saying, I'm fucking struggling. Yeah. I need help. Yeah. Right? Because yeah, they're, yeah, they're worried about speaking up. Yeah, because you know what it is too. They live a they live this life where I have the car, I have the house, I have this, mm. and now if I show that I have a weakness, I'm struggling. I'm not mm. dealing with it mentally. Mm. Fuck what what does what will people think of me? Because on the outside people think you're doing it all, you you got it good, right? Well, it stems, and, stems and from it's that whole thing. For the wrong it's, reason, yeah, it's it? it's exactly it's like um, putting yourself in that pressure and you know worrying about what others will think of you has also isolated us, mm, mm, right? Mm. It's also made us go, no, I'm not going to yep. ask for help because it looks like I, I'm not doing it. Mm. I'm not doing it. Oh, oh, I'm really struggling this week. I feel mentally fucked. No, I'm not going to tell anyone because it looks like I'm weak. Yeah. So it's always in relation to how you're perceived, mate, right? But dude, you know that is making us further apart and suffering even more. And we're teaching our kids like that. Right, kids are gonna stop asking for help. Mm. You know, that's mm. a lot. That's a lot to take on. And we don't mean help like, can you help me hammer this nail into wood? No, no man, that's conversation. Proper, proper Just hey, I'm, like, I'm I'm really struggling with finances. 100%. You know, I've made but can anyone like go and fucking be vulnerable and open up and. Fucking, you know, just receive and stop carrying it all on your own. We and we, we, we've seen the um, the worst of, of that is obviously people taking their own lives. And, exactly, and a self harm. High, a spike in self harm and, and suicides and stuff. So, and you know what they say? 
loneliness is the biggest killer, killer mate. Biggest, did you know that? Yeah, loneliness. And what are we doing? Fuck, we're living. Watching? We're living in this fucking society. We're becoming more isolated. Think about it. But but as an example, you're more lonely in the relationship because even to your wife, you have a hiding parts of you, right? So there is a part of you that's alone. Mm. Right, whereas I'm like, no, no, let's actually start to be okay with saying, no, fuck, bro, like, I'm gonna fucking give her the respect and the and and the and trust that she's gonna be able to carry this and not. And it's empowering, isn't it? Yeah. It's empowering for for yes, a female, a feminine. Yes. Yes. How do you know she can't come up with a fucking idea? Oh, no, I know she's very capable. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I know. And yeah. she has to also be okay, even if you've had a shit day to say, "Fuck, bro, I'm so tired. I'm fucking." She shouldn't have to carry your fucking emotions no, too because you've had a shitty day at work or something. Yeah, it's okay for her to say, yeah, yeah. Like, shit together yeah I've too, had a fucking shit had, day yeah, too. We're in the same yeah, yeah. spot, you know? Mm -hmm. Just for today, you yeah. deal with it. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly. That's fine. Exactly, man. So, do you want to yeah. top it up? So, really, what we're saying is um, community has to come back. Mm -hmm. you know, and that, start with your home. Start with, yeah, start at home. Start with the closest people start, to you. Yeah, it's man. Start way. expressing your authentic self and feelings 100%. to your partner, to your kids. Like, reach out for help. Allow them in to your fucking worries and concerns and whatever's going through. Community. How fucking exciting yeah. would it be? Yeah. It's exciting. Yeah, man. Honestly, I'm just imagining yes. fucking heaps of people hanging yeah, out. Yeah, man. You know yeah, what I mean? That's how it used to be. We were that. We were. We were you're that. right. We were that. We were that. Everyone, everyone had a role, man, and that's why the load. Think about people that live in tribes. You know what? We have so much comfort to us, right? So much. Why are we so tired? Why are we so tired? I oh, know. We have them. We're the most comforted generation ever, right? Why the fuck then, with all the comfort that we have, right? Your fucking seat in the car gets heated up. Yeah. Right. Why the fuck are you so tired, mate? Tired. Why? Why? Is, why, is why? So much depression? Why? Why? Because we are fucking isolating ourselves. We're mate. bones as fuck. Yeah. Right? So with all the comfort, we're still not rested. No. We're still not feeling connected. We've got more stress than ever. Because yeah. all we're focused on is gathering items. Mm -hmm. Right? But not gathering right. a community. It's 10 p.m. before you put Netflix yeah. on. Yeah. Fuck, but 10 p.m. <laughs> 10 p.m. I'm on bucket already. Half asleep waiting for Netflix yeah, to, to load. I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> What's the point? Yeah. But think about that. It's because we've we've accumulated things and got rid of community. We mm -hmm. got rid of people and how ego, ego stepped in and thought I'm well, gonna be a consumer. Me, I'm me, I'm gonna, gonna stand there. Yeah, watch gonna me, watch one. me yeah. compete, watch me do this, watch me yeah. do that. Yeah. And then you yeah. you're gonna be broken you. Think about who's not tired these days. Yeah. Who the fuck's not tired these days? Whereas right. go to a tribe, they've got to hunt for their food, they've got to gather, they've got to make, right? They get up early, they do mm. how come they're not they're not they're not going through what we're going through. They still right. make a bonfire and dance yeah. and enjoy yeah. life. Yeah, yeah. They've still got more Mate, life behind 100%. them from villages and shit. Without yeah. as many luxuries, yeah. you know, in every yeah. household and yeah. whatnot. Yeah, so I, I really strange. do believe that it's time to fucking reconnect with people. Start with home. Start with the ones that you live with. You know, stop taking responsibility for everyone's feelings and stuff. Like, honor your own feelings and, and just be a safe space for their feelings to, like, yeah. their nervous system to regulate. Gather people, gather a community, yeah. fucking reach out, you know. Um, the way we go and fucking accumulate things, start to accumulate fucking a nice community and a support system. The best thing to do, you know, especially with integration, change, uh, stepping into a new sense of self, is to fucking have a supportive community. Hundred percent. I like this. Cool. It's good. Cool. Cool. All right. Yep. Community. Community, mate. Start at home. Okay. That's it. That's it. Say bye. Oh, cool. We're done. All right, guys. That was amazing. That was a good um, another session not planned, but it was good. We never plan it. We never plan it. That's why we call it straight up. Is that what we call it straight up? Seriously. <laughs> Is it? No. Yes. Yeah, all right, sweet. Jesus. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. Um. Share, like, like, follow, comment, comment. yeah, everything. Yes. Um, and next week, should I get Jack on board? What was that, brother? What? You did like kissy lips, mate. Are you like him? <laughs> I've been Botoxing that. <laughs> um, yeah, you can get Jack. We might get Jack next week. Yeah, we'll do something. We might have Mr. Jack Lyons on. 
Yeah, or Brendan. Week. I was even talking to Brendan. Brendan. Or Brendan. Yeah, we'll do Brendan. Mr. Fast Bowler himself. Yeah, Brendan. <laughs> <laughs> All right, sweet. So, um, yeah, peace out, guys. And, um, yeah, thanks for the support. Yeah. Cheers. Bye.